Hello, welcome to lesson 8. In this lesson we're going to learn about random numbers and the statistics of random numbers. So theoretically, if we roll a dice or flip a coin X amount of times, the amount of times that it lands on heads or tails should be equivalent or should approach the same equivalency the more times that we roll or the dice or the coin. So in this lesson, we're going to use the secure random number generator to randomly pick numbers. And we're going to run a statistics to see how true the theory is using the Java. So let's go ahead and start a new Java application. Lesson 8. And we will import the Java security secure random. I know a lot of these classes have already been pre-configured and are included in the standard Java development kit, JDK. That's why it's required that you install the JDK prior to installing NetBeans. So let's go ahead and write our application. First we're going to create the number generator. So secure random. We're going to name our generator random equals new secure random. Then we're just going to flip, uh, we're going to say we have a dice with three numbers. So we're going to name it frequency 1, frequency 2, and frequency 3. And we're going to initiate our frequencies with 0. During the iterations of our statistics, we're going to increase the frequencies at which the number landed on 1, 2, or 3. Next, let's go ahead and create the function that will randomly generate numbers x amount of times. So 4, integer, let's say, a random number starting at 1. And we want to run the iteration 3 million times. So during this iteration, we will declare a value. And we will make it equal to a random number between 1 and 3. Next we'll create a switch that will evaluate the value of the random number we picked. If it's equal to 1, we'll increase our frequency 1. And the same goes for 2. and 3. So now we have a function which takes our random number generator, runs it through 3,000 iterations, or sorry, 3 million iterations, and it increases the frequency for each random number that is picked. So now all we need to do is display the frequency at which each number was picked. So I'm going to, I'm going to create a little table by formatting our text here. I'm going to start with the number. And then I'm going to create a tab with the backslash T. And I'm going to list the frequency at which it was found. Then I'm going to use a printf to format the number one will tab and the percent at which number one was found put a new line number two and for easy purposes I'm just going to copy and paste this three times so the number two and then the number three then we'll put in our arguments here frequency one frequency two and frequency three Now note that our script is running 3 million loops, so this can take some time to process, and let's go ahead and run it. There we go. So we have our number 1 was found a little over 1 million times, and number 2 was found approximately 1 million times, and our number 3 was generated approximately 1 million times. So this shows us that the secure random number generator is fairly random as it is choosing the numbers the correct frequencies 
as we continue to pick more and more numbers, if I were to increase this to, let's say, 30 million, we would probably get a bigger, more accurate representation, although it will take longer because we are running more scripts. But as you can see here, now the frequencies are approaching more 33%, which is the frequency of a random number generator. So in this lesson, we use the random number generator to pick a random number. Um, we chose from 1, 2, or 3, but you could easily choose any range of random numbers that you'd like using this, the random, secure random class. And come see us in the next lesson.